welcome to an introduction of UNEP CCC's pipeline databases on carbon market activities under Article 6 of the Paris Agreement. We, the UNEP Copenhagen Climate Center, have long-standing experience in providing data and research-based guidance for aligning market mechanisms with high climate ambition and broader sustainability goals. This builds on years of tracking and analysis of projects from the Kyoto Protocol's clean development mechanism. The goal of this work is to provide data and information that will help you estimate and analyze the overall impact of Article 6 activities across various dimensions and in different contexts. Currently, it consists of two related but separate components, the CDM pipeline and the Article 6 pipeline. We adapted the long-standing analysis of activities under the Clean Development Mechanism to assess how these could affect the new centralized mechanism under Article 6.4 and which certified emission reductions can be used by parties for their first nationally determined contributions. The new Article 6 pipeline collects information on agreements for bilateral cooperation under Article 6.2 and first pilot activities under that umbrella. The CDM pipeline has analyzed and tracked the status of projects for many years. As the go-to dataset for CDM activities, it contains a lot of information from which valuable lessons can still be learned. We now focus on which of these CDM projects can transition to the new Article 6.4 mechanism without fundamentally changing their methodologies and potential use of credits to achieve NDC targets. But before going into the specific criteria, let's recap what different kinds of activities we have under the CDM. First, the most common form are project activities. Then, there are several programs of activities which in turn serve as a kind of methodological container for the third kind, component project activities. The criterion for Article 6 is quite simple. Every registered PA, CPA and POA is theoretically eligible for transitioning to the Article 6.4 mechanism if, on the 1st of January 2021, it had an active crediting or POA period. Here we see the registered activities and the respective shares of how many of those were active at the beginning of 2021. If we compare this with the activities for which certified emission reductions can be used for NDC goals, the criterion is merely that they are registered today and were registered after 2012. Here, the share of eligible project activities is much lower than for CPAs and POAs. The relevant emission reductions that can be used are the ones issued for the period from 2013 to 2020. Of the total of 930 megatons of carbon equivalents, around 80 megatons, or 9%, can be used. Zooming in on which regions they originate from, we find that the majority of eligible CERs were issued for projects in Asian countries. Going back to potential transitions to Article 6. Maximally, crediting periods from these activities can stretch from the beginning of 2021 until the end of 2025, or sooner if the transition period ends before that. Any renewal after the 1st of January 2021 requires a fundamental overhaul and applying new Article 6.4 methodologies. To get a better understanding of what this means for individual projects, let's have a look at some examples. The grey bars show the crediting period or periods of eligible CDM projects. The blue bars illustrate from when and until when they can be transitioned to Article 6.4 while using the same methodology. Here, for instance, it stretches over the entire five years. Any renewal, however, needs to apply new methodologies, both here and here. Finally, for provisionally registered activities that started later, the crediting period can begin after the 1st of January 2021. Using these Article 6 relevant crediting periods and planned annual reductions, we estimate an overall potential of around 1.5 billion credits from transitioned activities over these five years. 
While this is more an upper boundary than an expected outcome, this volume should not be underestimated, given the sometimes dubious track record of CDM methodologies. We clearly see that the annual reduction claims are declining steadily until 2025. For any transition to actually take place, however, project participants need to request it until the end of this year. And then the respective host party has until the end of 2025 to formally accept. We will track these developments closely. Moving on to the current version of the Article 6 pipeline. While fairly limited today, the aim is to provide insights and transparency about cooperative implementation activities and their contribution to countries' NDC targets and sustainable development goals. Until now, it has two main components. First, agreements between countries to use cooperative approaches. This contains documents ranging from initial memoranda of understanding to elaborate legal arrangements. We currently have a total of 64 bilateral agreements in our database. This is between 47 different parties from a variety of geographic regions. But more than half of agreements include Asian countries. But there are clear differences between the regions of countries planning to host projects and potential buyers of these mitigation outcomes. Japan and Singapore are the most active. And other countries like Switzerland and Europe also make up the majority in their region. We do not only track the overarching agreements, but also concrete activities piloted as a part of this. We currently count 136 such projects, with the involvement of two countries interested in purchasing the resulting credits. That is Switzerland with 23, and the vast majority, Japan, under its joint crediting mechanism with 113 different projects. The set of parties hosting these projects, however, is much more diverse, as you can see here. This was just a glimpse into what kind of analyses can be produced from the pipelines. Much more is already possible today, and we will keep expanding the opportunities to scrutinize the developments under Article 6. One goal is to make this information more accessible through an integrated web-based platform, more user-friendly and interactive. You find additional details and monthly updates on our website, and please do not hesitate to share your feedback and inputs with us. Further references are in the video description. Thanks for watching.